welcome back to the Sunday morning fishing show. Holy, what a beautiful waterfall, man. I love fishing under waterfalls, one of my favorite places to fish. For one, it's just surrounded by beauty, and there's always a ton of fish around. So let's cast out there, let's see what we're going to get. I have no idea what we're going to catch today. But I do know there's some sockeye salmon in the area, so let's hope we can hook onto those things, because they're really cool looking fish, and I really want to see if we can get up one close here. Holy! Now, sockeye salmon, they, they can get pretty damn big, and they're really strong fish, man. They pull your line like crazy. They just spin out that whole reel like it's not even there, drag or not. Now let's, uh, you gotta be, holy shit, we got a fish on already, hell yeah. Oh, this pulling me right to the rock, we gotta bring him away from the rocks. Oh man, these fish are so strong, they just, they guide you around, it's really hard to control them. But that's alright, we got some strong line on, and this fish ain't gonna snap it. We are all set, that's all you need to do guys, when you go out fishing, make sure you got the proper gear. Oh man, look at this fish. Little teeth on that thing, could slice your finger oh, right open, no problem. Beautiful red color, 5 pounds, 12 ounces. Holy, that's a dinner plate fishy right there. Sockeye salmon are absolutely delicious. Oh man, I love eating salmon. I uh, salmon sandwiches, make a little steak from them. Oh man, this is so many ways you can bake them, you can oven them, you can throw them on the old barbecue. Oh man, open fire, I love fish, gee whiz. Actually one of my favorite fish, I remember one time me and my buddy, we were out fishing all damn day. We were catching bass so not beautiful sockeye like this. But we were damn hungry so all we did was start a fire. And we made sure we caught a few fishies. You just de-gut them, stick their head on a old stick over the fire, and damn old man, give her about 10 minutes or so, and you're going to have a delicious fishy on hand. Now let's get this lime back out in the water so we can bring in another beautiful sockeye. I hope we can, at least. But that's okay. Either way, whatever we happens here, I'm having a good time fishing. I've caught a few already, so I know I'm going to have a nice dinner tonight. I'm just going to reel in real slow. Hopefully we can get something. Give a little flick out there. Give a little bit of action. Not too much, because you don't want to spook the shit out of them. Now what in the hell's going on here? Why aren't I catching anything? Get this line in here. We got some we got some attention over there. Let's check that out. What in the hell is my horse's problem? He's just jumping and making all different types of noises over there. Gee whiz. Let's hope we can get some more sockeye, man. Did my spot just dry up a sockeye or a fish in general? Gee whiz. Now that's alright, man. I'm adaptable. I'm the fishing magician. If there ain't no sockeye, I'll flip around and I'll get her on something different. So I'm thinking, I don't see no fishy on the old fish finder. I'm not seeing any sockeye salmon around me, guys. Man, that sucks. Give her one more cast up there. Hopefully we can get something from the falls there and drag them out. I'm really hoping I do. I love those sockeyes. They're a good fight and they're really fun to catch. And not to mention the eating of them, which I've been mentioning a few times throughout this video. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Now I'm going to slap on the special spinner here. I'm just going to hopefully get a couple little guys. Uh, let's just see if we can add to the little bit of a dinner here. These little guys are probably more for. Uh, uh, more of an appetizer kind of thing, you know, slice them up, put them on a cracker, and uh, a little bit of fish and crackers. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, let's get these little guys in here. Let's see what we're going to get. I don't even know what little guy we got going on here. We got a beautiful bluegill. Now, bluegills are absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors in them. 
I'm going to keep him. I'm going to eat him a little bit later. They're not the best eaten in real life, though. I'll tell you that right now. Now, they're kind of like, they're in the pan, uh, the pan family, as they call them. Sunfish, bluegill, pumpkin seed. They're all really flat, panty, fishy looking thing. And uh, they're not the best eating crappy. Also, they say crappy's really good eating, but I don't like it. The meat's really mushy. It doesn't get nice flaky like a regular fish does. You know, where you, you can take off flakes. Let me take a sip of my Joe here. Ah, man, that's good. And now, if you guys want to drink out of your own fish and show mug, you can do that. Go on over to the merch store there. But anywho, back to my story. I, oh, man, I forget what I was talking about. What the hell was I saying before my Joe? Oh, yeah, I was telling you a story. <laughs> Hells, yeah. I remember now. Now, uh, about the flaky fish and, and the crappy. Crappy's a type of fish. Now, their meat's really mushy. Oh, so I wasn't a big fan of it. It's not something you can just, you know, pick off and eat. It, it just, it's a mess. And I wasn't a big fan of that, of that fish myself. But that's just one out of the, out of the thousands of different types of fishies. And I love fish. I love seafood, uh, fresh water. It don't matter to me. I ain't picky. Not at all. Anywho, let's get a few more of these little... Oh, I can't believe there's no damn sockeye anywhere in my spot. Son of a bitch, man. I'm getting a little bit loud today. Holy. I apologize for the yelling in the microphone, man. I'm getting a little bit irritated, though. I come here... And uh, we'd be fishing this boat, and I'd be catching sockeye salmon left, right, and center. So much I would have it in my freezer for months. I got two. I'm gonna eat those when I get home. I want more. Son of a bitch. That's a little rock bass. They ain't good eating. All they do is steal your bait, but they're a great fish for the kids. But anyways, guys. I'm gonna cut this one to an end. Doesn't look like this uh, spot is uh, swimming around with any sockeyes oh, like what I was wanting. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed. Please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Holy shit, I'm slipping. I'm trying to keep them dry, and it's not freaking working. Oh my! You now we're going for a swim. Oh Jesus. Anyways, guys, this has been a weird episode. I do these things a little bit early in the morning, mainly because I like being a little bit weird and dumb and well that's what the sunday morning fishing show is all about so i hope you enjoy please share like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one peace